What you doing, Diglett Dreamers? Mathers back for more uh, Pokemon Showdown today. The NU tier just dropped. So, I gotta try it out. I threw together this team. It's kind of just an offensive uh, spice kind of team. Ooh. This guy's got a camera up, which to me makes it an immediately cool team. I'm gonna guess this, this looks like some kind of trick room kind of thing. Uh, maybe Ravska Revival Blessing Trick Room. Very interesting. But my team is uh, basically Hazards Whiskash, um, Bulk Up Braviary, Quiver Dance Oricorio, um, Scarf Passimian, Life Orb Honchcrow, Assault Vest Copperaja. The idea being set up um, Hazards and then I have two Defiant users to block Defog and one Rapid Spin blocker in Oricorio. Um, so it's pretty simple, you know, <laughs> in comes a Mighty Jam. I can't be taunted, is that how Oblivious works, right? Yeah, so this person, uh, does Mighty Jam even get taunt, actually? I'm not sure. It might just fake out, which I would be pretty okay with. It does just go right for the Trick Room. Oh, I forgot to set Terra types <laughs> for any of these Pokemon. Oh man, I gotta get used to that. Uh, let me make this Terra Fighting. I think this Terra like Fairy sounds pretty good because that means uh, Revelation Dance becomes the type. I don't know. Um, I think Terra Fighting is pretty solid. This, I think Terra Flying is probably the best, just for those super strong, brave birds. And for you, Steel is nice, but let's go with like Ground. Because I just realized this, oh, Whiskash is my ground type, but it's not much of a ground type, honestly. I go for the Psycho Cut, which does a good amount of damage. 54%. No, oh, I forgot to go over my opponent's team, so sorry to my audio listeners. You guys are probably freaking out. Uh, my opponent has Rabska, Clawitzer, Crabomitable, Camerupt, Ruxish, and Medicham. Seems like a Trick Room team if I was going to ask, if I was going to guess. This is a tough, kind of a tough Pokemon to switch into, Medicham. Fighting Psychic type coverage. Uh, but I got a Stealth Rock and a Spike Up, so I'm feeling pretty good. They just go for a close combat. That works for me. So, yeah, Braviary. I guess I'll go into. just get a KO here, but I don't really think I want anything else coming in. If I roost here though, then, and they close combat, which I guess they would, that would mean bad things. Cause that would be too KO'd for sure. So let's just Brave Bird. They do close combat for 90%. Wow. No, I think, I, oh, they're Sash. So I do go down to recoil. I don't have anybody with any kind of priority. Oh wait, I have Honchkrow. I can just Sucker Punch, pick off the Metacham, and that thankfully ends the Trick Room and gives me plus one attack too, not bad. In comes the Crab. I mean, this dies to a Brave Bird quite easily. Are they just trying to get me like recoil damage? Oh, they Terra Ice. I don't think that saves it, yeah. <laughs> So I get recoil and life orb there, but I'm still at 52%, so that's not too bad. Plus they use their Terra. In comes Ravska, and they forfeit, yeah, because I think they just realized that Honchkrow at plus two is going to just destroy their entire team. Uh, yeah, that's a strong Pokemon in this tier. Uh, Honchkrow has not been, <laughs> was not in Sword and Shield, right? So it hasn't been around for a while. All right, I'm getting another game. This time I actually have 
my terror types <laughs> that are supposed to be correct. Uh, okay, my opponent has Umbreon, Vaporeon, Medicham, Veluza, Zoroark, and Cloth. Very interesting. Uh, I see no reason not to just leave Whiskash. In comes Cloth. Ooh. Earthquake does a lot of damage here. They do go for the Stealth Rock. There's an Earthquake for 62% and they are Anger Shell. Um, not sure what to expect from this thing. It could like knock off. Now even, well let's see, maybe if it's max attack. Two, two, two. Yeah, it's doing about half. So I could either take the KO here or maybe they'll leave them switch out. Okay, knock off this 46 as I get my stealth rock up. Nice, nice. So knock off's doing a lot less now. Should I just spike? Endeavor. there to finish me off. Let's see. Simeon U-turn actually has a chance to KO. Do I want to go that route? He is plus one speed. And this thing's not that slow. He's got pretty high base speed. For, I mean, not high, but like higher than you would think for like a rock crab. 75 base speed. Yeah, it's factually, its base speed is higher than Veluza, which is crazy. Okay, I'm guessing they're not adamant based on that damage. So I'm just gonna put Jolly. Yeah, because their knockoff did. All right, that was, that was, okay, never mind, never mind. That was when I had an item, yeah, okay. Anyway. Should I just go Oracorio? Yeah, I might be slower. <laughs> Why did I do that? I am slower, what's wrong with me? I just clicked the button. That was pretty foolish. That was pretty foolish. I probably lost the game doing that. They don't really have anything that handles Kaparaja that well. But I think I want to go Braviary anyway. Because they don't have much that handles Braviary either. In comes Veluza. I have a feeling that this thing is just gonna, you know, do its fillet away thing. Oh no, it's. Zoroark. <laughs> well, I take out the Zoroark. <laughs> I'm at 49%. In comes Medicham. Okay. It is probably faster than me. Roost, see what it goes for. It goes for the Ice Punch. All right. I'm betting that's Choice in some fashion. Maybe Choice Scarf. I kind of almost want to double into Honch Crow. But I'm just gonna click Earthquake because I got a lot of hazards up. 40% is not bad. Uh, let's see what they go for. They go for the Protect. Now the question here is if I Terra Ground, 
How much am I doing? Not enough. Earthquake as they wish. This thing is going to be a little bit tough to break. I'm going to go Haunch Crow, as I assume they protect, they get their wish. <laughs> they get their wish. Um, Brave Bird is doing a lot. I'm going to just click Taunt. Because they do just chilling water, of course. Yeah, that's not, not great. Ice beam, okay. So I can just go Copperaja then. I can just click Earthquake. Is that chilling water? <laughs> chilling water? Oh my god, it lived. Chilling water, kind of an annoying move, man. They protect. I'm just gonna keep clicking Earthquake. They chilling water again. That's why I'm at half attack, which is pretty unfortunate. In comes Medicham, which is kind of okay. If I become a ground type and they go for the fighting move, they still kill him, so not really any point. Okay, though. Now it just comes down to what move do I lock into? Is U-Turn gonna do enough to, like, Umbreon? <laughs> Maybe. I think I go for U-Turn, because with the hazard damage, with this thing at minus defense, it's gonna be close. Let me actually, how does Veluza take a close combat? Pretty well, even with, um... ah, they left GG. Dang, really just sacking the Oracorio by not really thinking about it. It was a real misplay on my part. All right, another cool team. Mabostiff, Spidops, uh, what is this thing called? <laughs> Gudra, why can't I remember things names? There's too many Pokemon names. Frostmoth, Oricorio, Pom Pom. I don't know why I remember that. And then Houndoom. I had to double check I was actually right. Um, it's Oracorio Electric type, for those who don't know. Um, okay, I do have some Taunt users. I think uh, I think I'll go with Oracorio so I can Taunt the Spide Ops. Because I don't want to be dealing with any uh, sticky web on my field. Yeah. And I can just go for a Revelation Dance as my boss stiff comes in. 30% is solid. Um, oh, this thing probably has stakeout. Hurricane KO, they could be scarf though. Actually, if they're even if they're not scarf, I should really make this thing timid. Don't listen to the, the suggested spreads, guys. Yeah, if I was timid, I could outspeed a non-scarf right here. Crunch. 
Max attack. Versus Pessimi. Okay, I'll go Pessimi. If they go for a jaw lock and do 59%. Can I U turn out of here? Is that a thing? Can I U turn out of a jaw lock? I don't think they're gonna stay in. They stay in. And I can indeed U <laughs> turn out of a jaw lock. Uh, that does signal to me that they are not Scarf. I'll go Cup Raja on potential play rough. Nope, they just go for Jalock and KO. So they're definitely stake out. Holy crap. <laughs> so I'll go for Simeon. And you turn out of there. Uh, I want to, anytime I get a KO, I want to have one of my taunt users in. So I can prevent the sticky web. <clears throat> really, really thinking about it. In comes the spite ops. Perfect. I like to break that focus sash, so then I can just come in and KO you with my haunch crow or my braviary. Who is going to be nicer here? I think... Hmm. If I can... Quiver Dance one time and land a few Hurricanes, I don't know. I think it's okay. I can go either one. Go Braviary and just Brave Bird. It will do some big damage to anything. Probably even the Oracorio. This actually lives the Brave Bird and gets the Sticky Web up. Are you kidding me? What? All right, so that's got to be max HP, max defense. Wow. Dang. That is a bulky Pokemon. I'm just gonna bulk up. I bet they have Memento or something. Okay. Oh, I have Defiant. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> yeah, don't Memento a Defiant Pokemon. I didn't even think of it, but my opponent definitely shouldn't have thought of it either. Or should it, my opponent should have thought of it. But the problem is they just go Oracorio. So I don't think this really accomplishes much. <laughs> yeah, Oracorio. Actually, they could go Gudra, they could go Houndoom. Even Frostmoth, but they're probably afraid of me being a faster variant. They could go any Pokemon right now. Actually, no. Don't go Mabastiff because I have plus one defense. Do go Mabastiff. I'm gonna roost just to see. They do have the wild charge. Holy crap! Thankfully, uh, so wild charge is 69%. Um, but they thankfully knock themselves out with a the recoil, and I'm able to get the roost off. So thankfully, did not end up losing too much HP there. Um, so they, okay, so what they can they can go any of these Pokemon and outspeed me. They probably don't think that Frostmoth can, but they should know that Oracorio and Houndoom at least, and maybe Gudra too. Um, but what's interesting is that they will not get the opportunity to set up like a Quiver Dance or something if they go one of those two guys because I'm not gonna let that happen. Yep, here comes Oracorio. Ooh, Revelation Dance actually doesn't KO me. Raper does 56 to 66. What if I Terra? I don't 
know if it's worth it. I think I'll just Brave Bird. They do Quiver Dance. And I do 95% with that Brave Bird. Um, oh my god. If I terrestrialize and they go for Revelation Dance, I could live it. I could live it. But that does rely on them being timid and not modest. Even then, it's still only a chance. As they tear it into an ice type, and they do knock me out there. I think I go Whisk Cash. Because I think I'll live any one hit and I can just knock them out with the liquidation. They do go for Revelation. And see, it does change type when you Terra. Um, yeah, knock out that guy. Good. Don't want to deal with that thing. Uh, I can still threaten the Frost Moth and the Houndoom so they don't get to set up on me. Uh, Gudra probably just outspeeds and knocks me out. I mean, they all probably do, but uh, the point being that they can't come in and start setting up. Gudra comes in. And this doesn't get any setup things that I'm aware of, so I kind of want to just go for Stealth Rock. They do go for the Ice Beam. Okay, cool. They could potentially be boots <laughs> on their remaining Pokemon, which would be pretty funny. Um... We shall see. Second Ice Beam knocks me out. Passimian. Passimian goes down to an Ice Beam. Could go Oracorio, become a Fairy type. And just see how I can go for game, I guess. I think that is the play. Hopefully they don't have like a poison move. I mean, ideally they're just like specs or whatever. Problem is, also I guess the pro other problem is, I don't know if I can even break through this thing. If they're max HP, I could definitely be in trouble. Okay, Ice Beam only does 32%. That is good. So I think I Quiver again. Uh, maybe not. 22%, okay. Oh, and I have Revelation Dance as a Fairy type move now. So that's a pretty clean two hit KO. I think I'll go for it. Okay, and they're not HP invested. Don't freeze me, don't freeze me, okay. Okay, looking good, looking good. Looking very good. Uh, Frostmoth is weird. I'm not really sure what my damage rolls are gonna be. Oh. Oh, it's shield dust. <laughs> uh, let's see. I'm guessing this is going to be max special attack, max speed. Hurricane will KO. I just have to land it. I land it. Okay. <laughs> Frostmoth is done for. Uh, and now we go to Houndoom, which is not boots. Could I still lose this? If... It has a move. 
move to knock me out. I mean, it'll knock me out with a fire move, most likely. It might not. <laughs> Revelation Dance knocks it out. Okay, GG. Very, they say, dang, GG, close game. It was very close. Yeah, it came down to like landing that <laughs> hurricane. Uh, and I think the stealth rock actually did end up mattering because uh, I don't I don't think I would have KO'd the Houndoom otherwise. And then it became down to like, would Passimian live a fire blast? Probably not. Would, uh, would they go for uh, an attack while I sucker punch and would sucker punch knock them out? I don't know. I also want to mention this person's name is very close to a friend of mine, Ariadon. I, I don't think it's them. <laughs> I don't think they've even really played Gen 9 at all, but it's definitely a very similar name, so it caught my attention. Um, yeah, that was a great battle. Let's get one more. One more good one, one more quick one. Send me your thoughts on the NU tier. It is brand new as of the day I'm recording this, but I mean, I'll probably upload this in a few days, so it'll be a little more fresh, or a little less fresh. <laughs> it'll be a, a little more established by that point. So my opponent's got a pretty intense team right now. Jolteon, Veluza, Indeedee, uh, Indeedee female, I should specify, Venomoth, Medicham, and Oracorio Pom Pom again. Very interesting. Medicham seems to be pretty popular. Uh, Venomoth, I'm sure, is very good with Tinted Lens Quiver Dance, so I gotta watch out for that. Um, Veluza, of course, you know, just don't let it fillet away. Uh, but not having priority is going to be pretty interesting, could be indeed uh, Jolteon is a big threat. I should probably keep my Wish Cash around a little, especially because they also have a Nora Corio. Uh, I kind of want to just lead Kaparaja and expect them to lead, yeah, something like Indeedee. Um, and I can just, you know, like, you know, they'll probably expect me to just not be an attacking type They'll probably expect me to like stealth rock or something. So I can just iron head immediately for over half damage on this NDD, theoretically. Oh, uh, reflect. That's annoying. Well, you know, in comes over Choreo. Just gonna go for the setup immediately. I respect. <laughs> uh, oh, the U-turn. Okay, so I'm gonna click play rough there. As they go Medicham, I do land it for a 78% damage. Not bad at all. Medicham is pretty tough to switch into for my team. Close combat will definitely knock me out. Terra would save me, but I don't know if it's worth taking that much damage <sighs> maybe hunchcoat isn't really worth holding on to in this game i think that might be the case i'm gonna sack it I actually go for a psycho cut people running psycho cut on this like it gets sharpness or something uh okay i could tear this and probably nab a KO as they go for a close combat. But I don't know if it's worth it. They bulk up. So Brave Bird knocks this thing out through Reflect, no problem. I get my Moxie and I take a Life Orb plus a little Recoil. Psychic Terrain has three more turns. Jolteon comes out. I think I just go Whiskash. Yeah, they just go right for a Thunderbolt. So I could Stealth Rock, I could Liquidation on the potentially incoming Oracorio. Indeedy instead comes out. Interesting. Just going for more screens, but not, potentially not letting the, um, terrain letting, letting the, potentially letting the terrain run out is what i'm trying to say uh unfortunately i don't do that much damage i'm going to try to go for an earthquake they are going to get their screens up though 
Maybe I should just go for some spikes. Or a choreo comes out. It is boots. That is good to know. Yeah, let's just go for some more spikes. I feel like they're just gonna U-turn. They defog. Okay, that gets rid of their own. Oh, it doesn't? I thought it'd get rid of your own reflect and whatnot, but I guess not. Uh, indeed, he comes back out, gets the psychic terrain. I mean, I'm just gonna go for stealth rock again. <laughs> Uh, I'll go for a liquidation this time. It's Belusa comes in. I take 12% from the Stealth Rock, 7% from my liquidation. The Reflect goes away. So I can Earthquake, which puts them to 50%, gets their berry, and uh, they fillet away. So that's pretty scary. Let's see, I guess we gotta find out if they knock me out. Yeah, so I go ahead and knock me out a plus two in the terrain with the sharpness. Um, it's Kaparaja. Take like a liquidation from this thing. Does this thing get wave crash? Oh, Aqua Cutter would be what it's running. Oh, gotta put the sharpness as its ability. Oh boy. Yeah, this thing's pretty strong. I don't think I have anything that tanks an aqua cutter. And uh, there's four more turns of terrain up. Well, let's see. Aqua cutter critical hit. So we'll never know. Psycho Cut knocks out Braviary. Yeah. Maybe they're not fast enough for me. I don't know. Oh my god. My Scarf of Simeon does outspeed them. That is insane. That is insane. <laughs> well, I'll go Honchcrow. They go Jolteon. Not much I can do about that. Uh, let the Hunch Crow go down to the Thunderbolt. Psychic Terrain does end. Uh, I can go Passimian here. The problem is I can't really lock into a move. If I lock into close combat, then I think Venomoth just comes in and sets up. Uh, they can also just go over Corio. Okay, they decide to sack in DD. As I go for close combat, I should have U-turned. Man, I should have U-turned. Yeah, because in comes Venomoth. I think I have to go over Corio. As they sleep powder. Well, actually, if they quiver dance in front of me, right? Okay, they just switched to Jolteon. Smart. Very smart. <laughs> I'll see if I can live. Nope. Thunderbolt takes me down. And it all comes down to the simian. I think I'll lock myself into knockoff. Knock off the Jolteon's boots. Yeah, GG. GG. Very, very offensive team. Psychic terrain and screens messed me up. I guess I'll get one more, see if I can have a positive win-loss record in this <laughs> first ever NU Showdown Live. And we have yet another um, SpyDops team. They got Jolteon, the same Oracorio as me, the, the ghost one. They got the regular fighting type Tauros. <laughs> not regular, it's not regular Tauros, it's the Paldean Tauros, but it's not the water or the fire one. Uh, they also got Umbreon. 
they got what's this guy's name? Uh, I'm gonna remember it. They got this guy is named. Well, they got Spide Ops on the, as, on the last slot, and then this guy is. What is this? I'm gonna remember. I'm not looking at the names of things. I, I know what I'm gonna lead already. I'm gonna lead um, Oracorio so I can taunt. I'm, I can't remember it. I'm gonna. I'm still not looking at the name. It's gonna. There it is. Bruxus. Okay. Dang it! I knew it was something weird with like an X in there somewhere. Um, I do outspeed. So I think I could just Revelation Dance. Take the KO. Totally risked that they were like gonna Aqua Jet or, you know, they were Scarf or some random crap there, but it's fine. Jolteon comes out, so I'll just go Whiskash as they do Shadow Ball, but I, oh. I was gonna say I tank it, but they get a nice special defense drop. Which is not nice for me. I'm going to go Bravier instead. Shadow Ball again, okay. And then I'm gonna go Copperaja as they go Umbreon. Cool. Power play does a lot to me. Play rough does a lot to them, though. The Thunder Wave. Disgusting. Play rough to 74%. And they don't really have much of a switch in. I can also just Iron Head to avoid risking a, a miss here. They do protect. Will not save them. Leftovers is not going to bring them to a point where they won't go down to this iron head. If I get paralyzed, so help me God. They do go spide ops. I do 62% with an iron head. They get sticky web up, unfortunately. But I do have half my team doesn't mind. It's actually go for a toxic spikes. And then a sticky web <laughs> and the iron head takes them out i got paralyzed on the toxic spikes turn so they were able to get up sticky web very unfortunate for me although yeah i was gonna say passimian looking good but the only thing that i outspeed now that a sticky web is up is umbreon and that thing's already pretty low for some reason, Oracorio comes in. I'm just hoping that I get a um, that I get paralyzed because I'm just gonna Iron Head as they Quiver Dance. I do 50%. Wow, that's a bulky Oracorio. I will Iron Head again. They Roost. Oh, they're just gonna wait for me to get paralyzed. I do more than 50% that time. <laughs> Just for science, if they become, um, if they roost here and I Terra Ground Earthquake, no, it's still not gonna KO them. Of course not. But, you know, I had to just, just had to see for a sec. They Revelation Dance there, do 30%, and I don't get paralyzed, and Iron Head knocks them out. Oh my god. Okay. Tauros comes in with the Intimidate. Cool. 
I think I just go hard or choreo as they bulk up. I don't really know what to expect from this. Revelation Dance probably does a good amount. I could just Hurricane as well. They do switch to Joltan Dang. I should have. Uh, at least I land my Hurricane, but I should, definitely should have Revelation. I'm going to go Whisk Ash, get poisoned, unfortunately, but main point being I don't want them Volt switching. They do Shadow Ball again. Um, it is going to be a 2 a KO, unfortunately. So they actually go Umbreon and then Earthquake. I bet they'll protect here. They wish. So I get a Stealth Rock off. I'll throw out a Spike too, why not? I'm not worried about this Umbreon because I have a Defiant, a guaranteed activated Defiant, my Passimian, which will outspeed this thing. I just get up a spike here and go down to poison and then Pessimian comes in and gets a KO basically. Which is very nice. Yeah, they protect as I get a spike up. Oh no, they've got so much more HP now. Oh, I get another spike. Oh, they guess they, they could foul play and knock me out. No, they wish again. All right, I go Pessimian. I get poisoned, I get the speed drop, but I also get plus two attack, uh, which means nobody's switching in on this. <laughs> they sack Umbreon, Umbreon goes down to close combat. All right. I think regardless of what happens next, I think I just stay in and click again. There's a chance maybe they're slow Tauros, but they do go Jolteon. They do show that they're not boots, so that leads me to suspect that they might be um, choice specs or something like that. I'm gonna just click it as they do Thunderbolt. All right. I'll just go Copper Raja. Uh, nice safe Earthquake. Sounds like a good idea to me. They Terra Flying. Oh my God. And I get paralyzed. <laughs> and Thunderbolt does 44% too. I should just Terra Ground. I Terra Ground, they Thunderbolt, I'm immune, and I Iron Head and KO them. <laughs> That's funny. Okay, Tauros comes in, gets the Intimidate off on me. Um, Oricorio should always outspeed. They Trailblaze, though. Huh. What move do they have for Oricorio Ghost? They forfeit. Okay, I guess the answer was no move. So that's where that ends. Thankfully, another win at the end there. Um, thank you for watching. Hit that like button and subscribe for more Pokemon Showdown and Pokemon in general content. Um, uh, tell me what your thoughts are on the NU tier. And if you want, join the Diglett Dreams Discord where you can share replays and sometimes I react to them on the channel. Uh, you can send me teams so that I can have fewer losses in these showdown lives uh and uh yeah the more teams that i have the more frequently I, I can record too because that's a big um the big slowdown for me is that i i'm not the best at and i don't usually have the time for team building uh so if you want to send me teams that's the best place to do it uh yeah i guess that's it <laughs> peace out keep dreaming and i'll see you in the next one Goodbye.